Are you looking to reduce temperatures on your laptop? Or alternatively, does throttle stop look like complicated hieroglyphs to you? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this video is for you. Because in today's video, I'm going to go over a couple of settings you can implement straight away to reduce temperatures for your particular laptop. So sit down, strap in, let's go. The number one performance killer in laptops are high temperatures. At the end of the day, your laptop has a finite amount of internal real estate to keep things cool and things can get pretty toasty. That's why I'm going to show you the ideal settings in Throttle Stop to reduce temperatures, keep those temperatures low and how to go about finding your ideal undervolt settings. Guys, at this point in time, I'm going to assume that everybody has um, unlock adjustable voltage available as well as being able to adjust turbo ratio limits. If not, do not fear. If you have a 10th generation, 11th generation or 12th generation CPU, I'm going to put a link to this video in the description. It's step number one and step number two is going to show you how to go about unlocking undervolting in your BIOS. If you got an 8th gen or 9th generation CPU, I'll put a link to this video. It's slightly longer, it goes into more detail because there are a couple of extra steps and it's gonna, just going to show you how to unlock undervolting in this video. That will also be in the description. Now that everybody is on the same page and everybody has undervolting unlocked, what I want you to do is go to this main window of Throttle Stop and by default, BD Pro Shot is going to be ticked, C1E is going to be ticked and it's going to say turn on. So guys, what I want you to do is unselect BD Pro Shot, unselect C1E and click turn on so it says turn off. When it says turn off, it means throttle stop is turned on. And then you're going to click save. And guys, the reason we unselecting C1E is because it's a very subtle power saving feature. As well as BD Pro Shot, it's a sensor in throttle stop that doesn't allow your processor to go beyond a certain temperature. But that's not good because we don't want to cap your temperature. What we want to do is reduce your temperature. So we don't need BD Pro Shot. And once that's done, go into FIVR. Now that we're in the FIVR section, what I want you to do is first and foremost, just select OK Save Voltages immediately, hit Apply. And then in the FIVR control, just go ahead and select CPU Core. Make sure that Unlock Adjustable Voltage is selected. And then instead of 125 millivolts, just go and select 255 millivolts. Hit apply. And guys, CPU cache, just make sure unlock adjustable voltage is selected. Then for CPU core, we're going to start off quite conservatively. So just go and select minus 70. And then hit apply. CPU cache, same thing. Start off conservatively and just select minus 70. And hit apply. And the reason I say start off conservatively, certain people's CPUs are quite sensitive, and you might experience a blue screen of death much sooner than somebody else with the same CPU as you. It's just according to how lucky you were with the die on your CPU. So once you've selected minus 70 on your core and minus 70 on your cache, just close off FIVR, go into TS Bench. Select 960M, it's a slightly longer benchmark, and hit start. And what I want you to do is let it run for at least 60 seconds. If it doesn't show your error message over here, it means your undervolt is stable, and you can actually push your undervolt further. So once it's run for 60 seconds, just go ahead and close that off. Go back into FIVR, and now what you're going to do is you're going to go minus 85. And then hit apply. CPU cache, you can actually put CPU cache on minus 85 as well. And hit apply and then close this off, go into TS Bench, same as last time, select 960M and then run your benchmark. Let it run for 60 seconds. If it doesn't say error message here, it means your undervolt is stable and you can push it further. And guys, what I want you to do is just keep on repeating that process um, where you push your CPU core further and further and further. For me, what I find is I can push my CPU core all the way down to 155 millivolts. 
and it's still stable. Um, and then my CPU cache, I can push to minus 99.6. And guys, if I push it only to 99.6 millivolts or minus 99.6 millivolts, it means that I can push my core a little bit lower so that I can reduce temperatures a little bit more. And guys, just keep on repeating that process until you get to a point where you do your TS bench and you see it says error over here when you run a 960M test. Once it shows error, what I want you to do is go back into FRVR and you're gonna set you're gonna set your undervolt to the previous settings where it was stable. And that is how you go about finding the ideal undervolt. But guys, for people with quite hot and powerful CPUs, anything above and beyond a 10300H, undervolting is not going to be enough. Because you're going to undervolt, but your temperatures are still going to be high. And once you run TS Bench, you're going to notice that even though your clocks, uh, you can push your clocks to 50, um, as soon as you start running TS Bench, it drops to 37 or 36. So what you want to do is once you find your, your ideal undervolt and you can't push it any further, it starts boost screening of death afterwards, just go back into TS Bench and then you don't have to do 960M, you can just do 120M. Just start your TS Bench and let's say you've got your clock start off at 50, but as soon as you run TS Bench, it drops to 39. That means that at 3.9 gigahertz, your CPU is throttling. So it means that even though your, your CPU is graded to run at five gigahertz, th those are extra clocks that are actually causing your CPU to overheat and throttle itself. So if it's, let's say it's dropping at, at um, your, F, uh, your FID is, is dropping at 43. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into FRVR and you're gonna set all your cores to 43. If it's dropping at 39, you're gonna set all your cores to 39. And then once you've done that, just run TS Bench again. And if it's still dropping, what I want you to do is go back into FIVR and instead of 43 or 39 or 38, what I want you to do is drop it just one turbo ratio limit lower. So if at 39, if I, uh, if I D, uh, your temperatures are still high, what I want you to do is put it to 38. And what you're gonna notice is then when you go, when you do your TS bench, now all of a sudden, uh, it's not gonna go beyond 38 in FID, but your temperatures are gonna be much lower. And that is how you go about applying the maximum undervolt and adjusting your turbo ratio limits to reduce temperatures and to avoid throttling on your CPU. And that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. Guys, at the end of the day, it's people like you. Thank you for watching. Cheers.